Okay. Have everyone... Has everyone decided to love each other? Okay, good. Now I murder. Hello, you are watching Sorrow Lab. I am your host, Dr. Nobody, and welcome back to Jurassic Park. I have been busy since last episode. I also have something to show you that's very weird that happened, shall we say. But first of all, um, well, my goodness, I am a mess right now. Let me just put away some junk. Uh, okay, that's probably good. The rest of this can go in here. Building blocks. I've been working on the visitor center. I have this. I want to keep this out because I want to use this. I'm going to finish the windows. I just cooked up some glass and dyed it black, so I've got that now. Um, we got some ender pearls here. But let me put away this. Um, let me actually start cooking some more of this. Um, let's refill this with coal. Let's get out some more. Just doing the rounds of cooking stuff here. Alright, let's just do this. Grab some more cobble. Oh yeah, as you can see, I'm getting achievements again, which is also a strange thing. So, uh, let, let me show you what's gone on. Basically, so, here's what happened. I was working on the visitor center, and I will show you what I've done. I've been working on it a lot. But I was working on the visitor center, and in the middle of working on it, uh, my computer just decided to shut down and update. In the process of doing so, obviously Minecraft had to be force quit without me like saving and quitting like I normally do. And when I came back, things weren't entirely as uh, as they were when I left. Now, I'm just assuming that it happened when it crashed um, or when it shut down. Um, because I actually didn't notice what had happened at first. I just went back straight back into building the visitor center, but I realized a little bit later after that what had happened, and I'm just assuming that that's when it took place. But basically, it's... Oh, okay. It's this. Yeah. I'm really not sure what has gone on here, but, and the di the dinosaurs are fine. The Dilophosaurus, they are absolutely okay. That might even be the we oh, well. Well, they were okay about two seconds ago when I was last here. How, what's going on with you guys? Do I have my, why do I not have my book? Or no, it's a paleopad. I keep forgetting that it's this instead of the, you are hungry. Wake up, you little bugger. Eat. Jeez. Yeah, here, have some of this. Wake up. Wake up, I said. Yes, go eat, please. You as well. You need to eat. Let me just feed you a little bit. Okay, so apparently these guys are still dying in here. Um, we're going to get some more of them, though, so that's not a problem. But the, these guys are fine, or they were fine. The Whatever happened didn't seem to affect them in any way. Um, but basically what it seems like has taken place is this chunk, which contains part of the hatchery, has been duplicated and placed over here. And then the chunk that was here has been put here. I have absolutely no idea how this happened. I suspect, again, that it has something to do with the fact that the computer shut down in the middle of the game. But otherwise, I don't know what's gone on. Like, I don't know why it would be that way. I don't know what exactly... What else could have happened. This, on its own, is not a big deal. I can fix this. It's going to be a pain, but I can deal with it. Um, but I'm kind of wondering if anything like this has happened elsewhere in the world. I haven't seen anything weird anywhere else. But I might have to go looking around just to make sure that everything is still sort of semi-normal in other places. So, yeah, that's that's the weird thing that's happened. Um, let's put away all this, all these bones and chunks of flesh that I've accumulated. Um, my goodness, we don't even have enough space. Um, okay, well, why am I carrying silk touch around? Oh, right, because we don't have enough space for books. I put it in here. Okay. Um... So, 
that out of the way, and I'll deal with that later. I'll fix it up, and uh, we'll make it um, make it better. The cows are still getting out. This is fine, though. I just sometimes I have to come through here and take them out when they get out. Um, but I will now show you. Oh, I did not mean to kill my helicopter. Um, I will show you what I have done on the visitor center. Okay, so, as you can see, a lot has happened already. Most of it is on the inside, but uh, you can already tell a lot has gone on here. This is why I wanted the stained glass, was that I'm going to finish these windows. Um, but basically, yes, so we've got the door frame here, and then going on to the inside... I've been working on laying out the interior. So first of all, the roof is up. If you remember last time, this was a giant mob farm. Once I covered the rest of it with roof, it was even worse. It was absolute insanity how many mobs were down here. It was ridiculous. But I lit it all up and killed them, so it's fine. And then I've been working on this center area. So this is actually really hard to get right, and this isn't even quite how I would want it um, as per the film. But I was basically just working off a reference image and doing it as best as I could. This is probably... I built this building a few times, and this is probably the best that I've ever gotten the basic shape and design of the interior. Um, so basically, you have these two areas off to the sides. This is where the raptor comes with, you know, the plastic sheet is hanging down because they're doing construction. And what is going on with that? Some kind of strange effect with the glass and the shaders. Um... But basically, you know, the raptor is here, or the plastic sheet is here, and the raptor comes up underneath it. Um, but, yeah, so, this, so that we've got those two areas, and then the center here, this is where the skeletons are, the staircase comes down around here, and at the back is the mural, and then the doorway is into the kitchen, and the dining hall, which is in this space back here. And of course there's the other rotundas off to each side, which I haven't done yet. But I've done part of the roof as well, so going up to the point of where these columns are, which is where the first uh, layer of uh, glass is going to be in the roof. So basically, I'll show you. If we go over here, I have a little um, little uh, tower here. This is my temporary viewing um, location. What is this? I think this is a ghost block. Um, so yeah, you can see. So right there, that's going to be the first layer of glass. And then we'll build up more. And I've chosen oak wood for the material, and I've chiseled it uh, into this kind, which is vertical, using the chisel. So that's what I'm using. And at this level, we're going to do a layer of glass, and then continue bringing it up in oak for, and then another layer of glass, and then the point of the roof on top. So that's basically the plan, and I'm hoping we're going to be able to do that in this episode. Uh, I'll probably do a time lapse where I will finish. Um, the roof of the central rotunda but first let's just finish these windows since I definitely have enough glass now yes I'm using black stained glass I'm really not sure about the whole uh, weird effect that you get I think it's only from the inside right yeah it's only on the inside that you get that weird effect I'm not a huge fan of that but I think this is still the best glass that we have for uh, the building because it's very dark like you can, you basically can't even see inside in the film. I figure we should use glass and not just like concrete or something because it is meant to be a window. Um, but yeah, it's, it is very dark. So I think this is the best we can do. Um, we've got the fossils in the door. Again, this is a little. I think I've mentioned this before, but when I when you mine fossils with a hammer. Uh, you actually get the fossils directly without having to do any, like, uh, plastering or anything. So I've basically collected... These are all coelacanth fossils. And I've collected a bunch of them and used them for the door frame. Uh, so, yeah, that's a little bit cheaty, but I don't really care. Um, so, yeah, basically, inside here, the basic structure is done up until this level... At this point, on these uh, little jetty out bits at the top of the pillars, and this level here is the level of the balcony. So the stairs go up, then balcony, and then the roof is here. So the and these little sticky out bits are where it start the um, the beams start. There's these big wooden beams that go up 
from these pillars and they go in a triangle up into the center at the point of the roof. Um, so those, that's going to be one of the next things we do. Um, and then of course we have, I've been starting to work on these walls. The walls here need to go all the way around so that we separate this back area. And then there are doors off into it in various directions. But before we get into working on the roof some more, what I do want to do is I want more Dilophosaurus. Especially since one just died, I think we should be getting as many of these guys as we can. Well, not as many as... Well, maybe not as many as we can, but at least a few more. So I'm going to do that, get these guys going. Um, and I should also feed at, or add, add more food to the guys that are already in there. Um, just so that they don't have any more problems. That, oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. Okay, um, I'm going to grab this. Alright, that's all I've got for now, but I'll take this over here. I need to breed the cows again, probably. Um, but yeah, I think the problem with the Dilophosaurs that they have is that they end up, like, um, they end up, um, going to sleep because they're nocturnal, so they go to sleep, or crepuscular, so they go to sleep in the daytime, and then it means that they don't end up getting the chance to eat because they're asleep. They really should wake up when they're hungry, is what I think. That should, that, that if you want to improve the AI, that would be one thing you should definitely do, is have them wake up when they're hungry. Um, but wait, what is this? This is, a whole, oh, this is a whole other chunk that's been thrown about. Okay. So, th I didn't even notice this, but apparently it looks like this chunk has been duplicated to there, which has then sent this chunk over to here, and then the chunk that was here has been put over there. Okay, great. Well, more work for me to do later. Wonderful. Look at that. Already got two more stacks of stone and two more stacks of iron. This actually goes pretty quick. Um, we got a ton of this. Oh, well, I say we got a ton. We do have a ton of iron, but I tell you, you know, like in terms of making uh, fencing for uh, for paddocks with this stuff, I mean, this is going to go super quickly. <laughs> it's, it, this is nothing. Um, but at least we are accumulating it slowly. Let's do some of this. And again, we're going to need more coal. Throw this in here. And then I think I'm going to do more iron in here. Let's do another full stack. Bam. Bam. Okay, we've got one Dilophosaurus DNA. We're about to get another one. But let's stick this guy in here. And embryonicize it. <laughs> and we're about to get another one. Come on. And... Hello? There we go. Okay. And it's going to make one more, but for now we'll just do these. Um, stick this in here. Grab ourselves a couple of eggs. Probably need to go collect more eggs. I should actually have chickens in a farm of some kind to give me eggs, that would be the smart thing to do. Um, but I'm not smart, so who cares? And there's one Dilophosaurus egg, and we'll do another one. And then we will put these guys in the thing. The, and, and we can also make more... Um, we can make more uh, Dilophosaurus... Um, DNA from the bones of this dead one, so that's good as well. Um, yeah. Let's see, do we got another one? Yes, we do. Okay. How are we doing here? Is it worth? No, I'm not going to wait for that right now. Let's just stick these guys in here, and they should be incubating. And they're both going to be female. Good. Actually, there we go. We've got one more bit of DNA, so let's go ahead and do this one as well. Might as well do all that we can. And we'll add that to this batch here, which are already going, so that's good. Alright, you, into there, get in the egg, and egg goes in here. Okay, good. So those guys are going. 
and it's nighttime, so I'm gonna sleep. All right. Oh, let's harvest this while we're here. Um, but whilst those um, Dilophosaurs are incubating, I am going to. I think. Well, first of all, what I should do. What I should do is well. Okay, I guess I should go harvest some wheat, and then I'll breed the cows, um, and probably kill some. And then we're going to work on the visitor center some more. I'm not going to worry about the, um, the weird chunk errors right now. I'll fix those later on my own time. I'm not going to do a time lapse. Oh, see, there we go, me getting achievements again. That's the other weird thing that happened after the crash, or the restart. I have been getting all of my achievements again. Like, I logged back in, and it's got, I got Cover Me With Diamonds, like it was the first time I was wearing diamond armor. And uh, so I've been getting all of my achievements again. It's like they've been reset, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that either. But, uh, yeah, there's various weird things going on, but it seems relatively stable, so... I think we're okay. Yep, there we go. Again, breeding an animal as if it's the first time I've done that. Definitely not the first time that I've bred these guys, that's for sure. Okay, has everyone... Has everyone decided to love each other? Okay, good. Now I murder. Alright, that was a good, uh, good little culling there, so I've got about 40 beef. I accidentally killed a couple of sheep. I don't actually want to kill the sheep if I can avoid it, because they're giving me wool. Um, but I got a couple of mutton and 40 beef, so that's good. And we'll stick this in here. All right, now to get back to work on this. And it is done. You can't really see it from here. Let me go up to my um, my little pillar here. Um, but I've done the entire... This is turning into grass. I've done the entire central roof. So as you can see, we've got our glass in there. And the top is quite pointy. And it is, actually. The real thing is very pointy up at the top there. And it does sort of overhang the windows a little bit like this. I might tone it down a little bit. Maybe bring in some slabs and stairs to get it a little bit smoother or something. But for now, I think it's pretty good. And I'll show you what it looks like on the inside as well. I'm actually really happy with it. I think this is the closest that I've ever gotten this. And I've, as I've said, I've done this a good few times. I think this is the closest I've ever gotten the inside to being accurate to the film. I think it has the scale that it needs 
to really, you know, give you that impression when you walk in. Like, yeah, bang, it's all, and it's all big, and the skeletons will be here in your face, the sun is shining through, so yeah, I think it's really good. Now, the next step is probably going to be finishing this wall, going all the way around. I'm not going to do that in this episode, I think we've done plenty for now, but I'll, I'll, that'll be the next step, is finishing this wall. I really want to get the visitor center to at least the point where I can move in and, you know, live in here while I build the rest of it, because I'm outgrowing this little bunker very quickly. Um, yeah, that is not going to sustain me for much longer. So I really want to get this to be at least livable so we can move all of our stuff in there. Um, and it doesn't have to be finished, but I want to get it to the point where I can move in, and then we can keep working on it from there. But that's not all we're doing today, of course. We have three hatched Dilophosaurus eggs to place in our hatchery along with the guys who are already there. Um, I'll, cl yeah, oh gosh, I'll clean up this mess before next episode. By the time of next episode, this will be cleaned up. What is, why is there a bunch of, well, I'm going to give that to these guys. <laughs> um, yeah, before next episode, this giant mess will be cleaned up. Um, but let's go in here. Is there only one left? I can't I feel like another one might have died. I don't really remember, but it looks like, yeah, there's only one left in here. But that's fine. We're going to add three more. Oh, these guys are tamed. Forgot about that. Okay, that's fine. We'll just, okay. We happen to have a couple of friendly Dilophosaurs. That's okay, right? We can have that. Tamed, yeah. Didn't didn't mean for that to happen, but okay, whatever, sure. Um, so these guys are in here now. I'm going to give them this. There we go. That should be plenty of food. Um, what's that? Hold on. I'm pretty sure that was in there before. Did that, when the chunk duplicated, did the food get, for some reason, all put into this one? seems like that's what happened, because that one over there was, like, empty. So, wait, and this has these things. Are these things in this one? They are. So these got duplicated. I don't, it doesn't seem like these ones did, though. It seems like these ones just got moved over there. Maybe I'm going insane. Maybe you maybe you guys can let me know if I'm going insane. But either way, that's very weird. I'll fix it. It's fine. I'll fix it. I'll just... I'll break down all this rubbish, and I'll fix the landscape around here. It's fine. Okay, right, let me get through here. Alright, hello, cows. Actually, do you want to... I wonder if they're up for another round of breeding quite yet. Oh, yes, they are. Okay, well... Let's just do all that we can really quick with this little bit of wheat that I have. All right, there we go. Good. Should also harvest some more of this. Having a moss farm, even just this tiny little one, is really good. It's a really good idea because, like, as long as you harvest it regularly, I mean, you can get a ton of moss. Let me see how much do I have. Let's see, I have, I now have 25 moss already. Not to mention the extra peat moss that's already in here. Oh, what I've also done is I've made a new pickaxe. This diamond pickaxe, the Silk Touch one, is a brand new one because my last one was almost dead and it was getting really expensive to repair it, so I made a new one. I still have my same Fortune one, which unfortunately doesn't have unbreak. Unfortunately, haha, that was terrible. Um, it doesn't have unbreaking on it, which is kind of too bad, but whatever. This one's fine for now. But I have a fresh new Silk Touch one, so that's really good. My other tools, I recently got a new axe, so that's fine. I sort of, sometimes I, sometimes I really wish I had mending. But what I actually realize is that, I mean, eh, like I can get diamonds easily, so I'm, and I, levels aren't exactly hard to come by, so I can just make and enchant new things whenever they're too expensive to repair. But that's about all 
that I have for you this episode. Don't worry about that. That's just my scaffolding. I'll get rid of it. Um, that's all I have for this episode. We've made some good progress on the visitor center. I will continue to work on it off camera as well as fixing that mess that we've gotten ourselves into over at the hatchery. Um, but until then, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Remember to wash your hands. I've been Dr. Nobody. Goodbye.